Everybody, I want to talk about a Bible verse that says, My people destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's in Hosea. Hosea 6 4. My people destroyed for lack of knowledge. And as I discuss that, I want to talk about the topic of vanity and what knowledge we're talking about here. Because when people hear that verse, people think somebody who doesn't have knowledge, they'll be destroyed. But many people have knowledge of the world. We all have knowledge to some degree. But what that scripture means, when it says my people destroy for lack of knowledge, in the Hebrew, the context is my people destroy for lack of knowledge about me. This is what Yahweh is saying. People have no knowledge of our creator and his ways. That's what's destroying people. The worldly knowledge that replaced the knowledge of our creator is the issue at hand here. And the topic today of vanity is something we need to discuss because people are living uh, in a way that vanity is just the streets are flooded with sin and vanity is at the top of the list. A.W. Tozer, a wonderful Christian author, wrote, knowledge without humility is vanity. Wow. Knowledge without humility is vanity. So the knowledge of Yah brings humility. You know, those that submit to me are those that are going to have a long, long life of peace and shalom. But you look at the vain world we live in and the vanity we live in today's world. And we have a hypocrisy out there in the world today. It's just destroying people. The book of wisdoms in Proverbs 30, verse 13 says, There is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. And then Proverbs 31, 30, it says, Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears Yah, she is to be praised. Beauty is vain. Now, there's beautiful things or the beauty of Yah. But when you use beauty in the wrong way, it becomes vanity. And this is the problem. Proverbs or wisdom 21 4 says, Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of wicked are sin. You understand, vanity and pride go hand in hand. And it says in Proverbs 16 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. These are things we must be aware of and protect ourselves from. And sadly, many people have fell into this trap of vanity into the world. Now, I'm one to say we shouldn't make excuses for the things that we do or not of Yah. But I do have to say the world today teaches us to be vain. And, and it's not an excuse, but it's a reality. We have to kind of unlearn what we've been taught and trained to do. People today are idolizing themselves. And it says in the scriptures, 1 John 5, 21, little children, keep yourselves from idols. So not only are they fleeing to idolatry, the scriptures tell us to flee from idolatry. And people are making themselves idols through the vanity of this world. Literally going to a doctor and paying money to change your uh, appearance or to enhance your appearance, to look according to the perception of the world's ways. You know, and what the world wants to see. You see, there's different reasons to do things like plastic surgery and stuff. If there's an accident, if a little kid has a cliff lip, or if there's a scar, or if there's just uh, anything that could help one's health. This is what it was created for to, or, or used for in a, in a humble way. But when people are using it a way to get their breasts and their butts made bigger and their lips fuller and all this, this plays right into the hand of the enemy, which wants people to use this vanity and its desire to destroy uh, 
uh, one another uh, in a prideful way. And it's, again, pride goes before destruction. And that's what's happening out there today. So it says in John, 1 John 2.16, for all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and desires of the eyes and the pride of life is not from the Father, but from the world. Desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of life is not from the Father, but of this world. And then we're told in Romans in 12, 2, do not be conformed to this world, but transform be transformed by the renewing of your mind that by testing you may discern what is good and what is the will of Yah acceptable and perfect. So we need to understand about the deception of the heart and, and the vanity that, that we've been, that's been forced upon us. You know, and, and 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 it says here, like you know, it's not everyone. There are some people uh, who who are, are so humble in their uh, appearance, they could actually step out of their house without wearing fake up or or clown face paint and and be satisfied. They don't have to walk on stilts or or high heels. So their body could be in a position to attract attention. You see. Humility is not attracting attention. Humility is, is living for Yah regardless of what people think and following Yah's ways. But the world today doesn't do that. The world today doesn't do that. The world today is motivated by something different. There's, there's, there's just so much vanity in it. There's so much desire for for money that people are willing to sell their own bodies their own bodies for for attention many of them aren't even doing it for money they're doing it for attention and then many are doing it the sacred thing that yah gave us to 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 to, to make a blessing and you know, in, in children, people are using for the wrong reasons because of their vanity, because they're attention seekers. And it's hard because the enemy knows what's pleasing to the eye. The enemy knows the deceit of this world. The enemy is a great deceiver. Trying to destroy Yah's people. We must, we must turn away from the vanity. We must turn away from the prideful thoughts and, and the pride and the idolization of ourselves and the idolations of uh, idolization of others. You know, we can't, we can't do this. You know, and the scriptures tell us to be careful, to be careful of these people. And it is described in the scriptures just how it is. So if you're listening to this right now and, and you're one that must a, a seek attention in the way your appearance is, or feel that you have to look a certain way to survive in this world and get money to live. You need to repent, which means turn, turn around your ways of thinking. Repent and start getting the knowledge of our creator so you're not destroyed. Because the knowledge of the world will destroy you. And when the scriptures say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, this is what they're speaking about. So I pray for humility and wisdom and the knowledge of Yah to be upon your heart, to undo what the world has taught us, to renew our minds and follow Yah's ways. I pray people are getting this, understanding this, and will submit to Yah. Have a blessed day, everybody. Shalom, shalom.
Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, 